everyone as you know I am Jim from Jim Shaped Coding welcome back and I hope you did well with the project on my previous episode after covering lots of information in the first 10 we are going to dive in into very interesting stuff so stay tuned and let's start so with the information we learned until this point we were able to write basic programs where we involved lots of calculations or lots of receiving inputs from the user but let's say i want to write a program where i describe the weather and regarding how the weather is i decide if someone can go for a walk today so if it's a sunny day like this then i want to write a message that it is possible to go for a walk but if it's a rainy day then I want to write a message that is not possible to go for a walk well we did not deal yet with that kind of problems and this is what we are going to focus on today with Python so you can use this in any programming language and it's called if statements and it exists in any programming language so let's show some examples of it with Python so back to our PyCharm and let's try to implement the problem I showed you in the Python code. So let's start with creating a type of variable of boolean. So I want to create a variable that's called nice day for example and make that equal to true. So this is where booleans are really critical. In an if statement you're probably going to use the boolean pretty much. So how you create an if statement? Let's show this. So we are going to start with a keyword called if and right after the if comes we are going to check some situation or some behavior if it is true or false okay so for example we have nice day equals true so what we want to do is checking if a we have a nice day today and if it is a nice day we want to put in some message so if we go something like nice day and here we are expecting to actually write something like this right because what i want to check is if nice day equals to true but what python says when I put in a single equal sign here it says okay you are trying to assign a variable that is called nice day but when it comes to if statements it is going to be a little more, more tricky than that and we are going to have double equal signs so the double is going to tell Python okay Python I'm not assigning a new variable I'm just trying to check if it is a true condition or not so if I hit the equal sign one more time as you see the Python is accepting this one and this one is called an expression that checks if this situation is true and now what I'm doing is putting here a colon sign and from here if I press enter check out what's happening Okay, so the PyCharm automatically jumped a few steps further. So that means that whenever nice tray is equal to true, the code here is going to be executed. So this is called indentation in Python. When you want to write a code in a specific area, you have to make an indentation. So the PyCharm does that automatically. So all the code that I'm going to write here in this area is going to be executed only if nice day is equal to true. So let's try to put a message here that it's going to say hey hello today is a nice day so go for a walk all right so let's try to execute this program and see what we get so we get the message here below because the nice day variable is equal to true but if nice day is not equal to true, this line here is not going to execute. So let's try to prove my point here and let's create a new variable that's called nice day equals to false. And let's run this program one more time. And as you see, I did not get any output from this program. So let's continue. To take your attention, if I press enter here, I'm still in the area that the code is going to be executed only if nice day is equal to true. 
So how I can get out from an if statement, I just have to press shift and tab together. And as you see, I jumped outside of the if statement. So if I run something like something like this out of if statement, this program is going to show me this message very regularly because I'm not inside an if statement and this code is going to run no matter what happens. But let's say that I want to run something in the case when nice day is equal to false. So of course I can repeat myself with the if statement and do something like if nice day is equal to don't forget the double equal sign there and write something like false and the colon sign and i hit enter and writing a message like it is not a nice day so if i'm going to run this program only the it is not a nice day is going to be executed but it is not quite efficient to write multiple if statements when you have a situation like this because in this situation it is either a nice day or not a nice day so in this case we can use the else statement so let me just delete those lines of code here and right after we are being inside of if statement we can just jump out from here like this and then you can hit the else keyword and put in the colon sign so the python will automatically knows that those two are tied to each other so if it's not a nice day then we are going to execute this one so let's write here hello it is not a nice day and don't forget that our nice day currently is in false so i'm expecting to only this statement to be executed so if i run this and this is really the result i get hello it is not a nice day but if i take the nice day and change it to true then I will get back, hello, today is a nice day, so go for a walk, because nice day is actually equal to true, and the Python does nothing to do here in the else statement. So I hope you really enjoyed this one, and I really recommend you to take the exercises of this episode, since it's a really important topic. There is no program that I did not use an if statement, all right, and I bet many programmers will tell the same thing. So so don't forget to like this video and crack the subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode.